Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to share with you a layout I created using this sketch from HipKit. It's this week's challenge. And uh, for my layout, I started with a watercolor background. So as you can see, my palette is uh, still full of colors and that's simply because um, what I do when I work with a kit or a collection is I keep the colors on my palette so I just need to add some water to it again so that I can still use the same um, kind of color scheme and it saves me from having to remix new colors and trying to match again the colors when I've already done it so this is what I did so I just add an extra bit of uh, water to it and I can reuse the colors over and over again and it's less wasteful anyway so um, yeah this is one of, uh, of my little tip so as I said I use the packaging technique on my background and uh, I'm adding a little bit of uh, splashes of mustard colour to match the colour scheme I'm going for on this layout. Hit drain quickly and then I thought I would use this absolutely stunning paper from uh, my uh, Pretty Leo studio and use the part where I had the blue and the mustard um, because I wanted to use a blue and mustard colour scheme. This was one of the challenges from uh, the group for the love of uh, pretty paper, a uh, UK group. And uh, I thought that it's a colour scheme that I love anyway, naturally, but I thought I would love to try it on, on my layout. And because it was one of the challenges uh, for that group and also because it's co it was colours that were present on in that kit, I thought it would uh, be absolutely perfect to do the sketch and do that challenge at the same time on, on that layout. It's something that I've been wanting to try for quite a while. So I layered uh, my papers with the crepe paper papers and I distressed the edges, giving it a bit of an angle uh, to mix, uh, well, sorry, to match the sketch that um, we had this week on uh, the Hip Kit Club uh, group. So I stick it down with sticky tape. That's my go-to. I love the double-sided sticky tape. And now I'm choosing my photo um, and starting to place my embellishment, trying to start having a bit of an idea of what I'm going for. I wasn't too sure I was going to use that photo, so I'm looking around, um, trying to see how I'm going to use uh, my embellishment. So it's looking... Um, how I want everything to be placed. I had already selected all the embellishments in the kit that were um, within my colour scheme and I decided that I wanted to mount my photograph on uh, some pattern paper and I chose this gorgeous pet pattern paper from Heidi Swap. Um, it, although it's a dark green because I use it in such a small amount just the edges that are showing it doesn't take off from the rest of the color scheme it actually um, helped to match it with um, all the different shades of blue because you have some blues that are dark navy blue but you also have some blues that are going towards a bit of a greenish grayish um color so it just all blended really nicely together and then i thought that those little tags from uh the crepe paper collection would fit really nicely still with my color scheme and to add a little bit more detail to my layering behind my photograph just to to bring detail but also i think it, it brings a bit of volume and a bit of texture and um, interest behind the photograph and it, it kind of draw your eyes to the photograph. So I go and cut off all the papers that I think I'm, I'm going to use and I start playing around with how I want things to fit, how where I want things to go. Um, just trying to find that happy layout, that that happy medium, the happy place. Once I've got it, I secure it with just a tiny dollop of uh, glue and just a couple of uh, sticky foam pad so that it 
it's secured in place, but I can still add behind and slide behind any embellishments that I want to layer. So I don't end up with some glue or some uh, sticky foam pad in the way, which would stop me from sliding something uh, behind my photographs or behind the papers. Because then you can always add more glue later on to secure it even more if you feel you need to. So I um, love the idea of the die cuts that were part of the colour kit from the November kit. As there were some stars in there and uh, there were also some other shapes. And I thought that would be quite nice to go on the page to add a little bit more detail. So I've taken out all the stars and I've placed them just next to my page just so that they are in my high side and I know that I will not forget them. So I start to add a little bit of dollop of glue behind all the stars and uh, all the layer details that I'm happy of uh, their placement on my page. Just again to secure them and make sure they, they are there. Um, I then decide to play around with all the foliage. Um, this kit had some really, really beautiful flowers and uh, little pine uh, branches and... Uh, um, loads of little details, nature details, and I thought that would look really, really nicely um, to add that la little detail, that layering to my page. So I'm playing around with all the water that I pulled out earlier on, same again in those mustard and blue um, colours, as that's my colour scheme for this layout. And once I'm happy of their placement, same again, I just stick them down um, so that it just stays in place. I'm not the kind of scrapbooker who will um, place everything and then stick things down. I tend to go through layers after layers. So once I'm happy with one layer, I stick it down and then I go on to the next. Um, I have no patience for uh, placing everything and then as soon as I try and move something, it just all goes out of place. Um, I'm... I'm really happier with just going layer by layer and sticking it down so i add my title i used those beautiful thickers from american craft and i thought the bundled up text was absolutely perfect for this photograph because sophia look all um cozy and warm and all fluffy in uh, her little snowsuit so i thought that was uh that was perfect so then I go on with uh, taking the layer stars uh, that were from uh, the colour pack, the November colour pack. And uh, I absolutely love how the white doily cut out effect uh, cut through all those colours and it brings back the white from the background. And I just love the texture. I thought that really, really gave... Um, a fantastic look to my layout. I was so happy with that effect and I decided to finish it off with those um, grey pearly uh, sticky dots from uh, uh, Prima Marketing. I then added my date and I repeatedly stamp it just to uh, add a little bit of uh, a pattern. So I did it on the top and I did it on the, on the bottom. Um, I wanted to add some journaling as well, but I didn't want it to add it in my usual black because uh, I thought that would be too strong for this layout. So at first, I kind of removed the um, excess black I had left on my stamp and I then stamped it with a uh, grey ink just so that it blends in a little bit better. And as you've noticed, maybe my lines are... Uh, drawn with a uh, grey pen um, as uh, same again I didn't want to use black like I normally do um, I stamped all my text and uh, afterwards I realised that the W from wrapped uh, was under the star that I moved it a little bit too much over but at the end of the day I know what's uh, what's written on it and I'm, I'm quite happy with it I then just thought that it needed a little bit of an extra something in a corner because it was too blank. 
and um a layer of blue star is exactly what I needed. I then secure with a little bit more sticky foam pad, a little bit more glue, and I thought I wanted to bring all the details next to the corner and I used the mustard nuva drops um around my page just to add that layer extra detail, that layer extra mustard um on my layout. And there you go. That's uh, my layout all finished and uh, I hope you like it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for following me. Thanks for all the love that I can see everywhere. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.